Right here we've got our twin stack shader. That when the mouse is moving. Yeah, and we can press the tilde key to toggle. And now when I use my controller or I've coded in WASD to act in the same way, I get the equivalent of twin stick controls. So this one builds on from a few previous examples. There will be some links in the description to those previous videos. So this video assumes we've got a character that moves using default inputs and it moves around direction. So the link will be in the description for that. And we've got a mouse control turret. So first thing I'm going to do is basically set up a little toggle button so we can turn off the mouse control turret. What we'll do is then quickly just jump into our project settings, into our input map. I'm going to add a new action. So I'm going to toggle mouse, and I'm just going to set that to being, you know, like the tilde on the keyboard. Now we'll jump back to our player script, and we're just going to need to. So sort of turn this off. So at the moment we've got our process function that basically looks at the cursor. We're going to need to basically disable that. So what's, let's first set up a variable. Mass enabled and let's assume it's true by default. And so we're going to get to here, and we're going to go if mouse enabled, run the lookout cursor. So if we look at it now, everything's still running as it is. We need to actually now also write a little function to handle toggling that off. So we're going to write function input event if is action just pressed toggle mouse, we're going to change mouse enabled to be whatever the opposite of it is. And you can see I actually just press the tilde key and it's able to turn that off and on. So that's our first little step. So we can switch that mouse off and on. Now what we need to do is actually go and handle getting our turret to rotate with different keys. So we're going to go back into that actions. So we're going to have add four new ones, turret up, turret down, and I actually want to change that. And we're going to go and add our key bindings. So I'm also going to add a WASD on these as well, just to make our testing a little bit easier. And for our tarot up, we're going to go to joypad axes, and we want tarot up is going to be right stick up, turn it down, trip it axes, right stick down, turn it left, trip it axes, right stick left, and no surprises for this one being right stick right. So we've got all those connected. Right, now we need to go and add our code to manage them. So it's going to be very similar to here. So I could actually just copy and paste these lines of code and modify them, which I'm actually going to do because let's be lazy. 
that input direction. We don't want it to be this one. We're going to call it tart input direction. And we'll call this tart direction. And change these ones here to be tart input direction. Tart input direction. Yeah, these other ones here, they are actually mentioning the original ones. So we'll change those to be tart left. right, turn up. This is a, the get vector for the inputs is really useful, like the first two. Uh, our left and right inputs, so negative and positive, negative and positive for up and down, and it gives us a x and y, z. Tide direction will be normalized, because if we do one across and one up, we actually get about 1.4 from the origin. So it curves it down to, runs it down to like the one. Okay, so we've got that. So now we want if we've done something with the turret direction, we're going to do very similar to here. But we need to make a new variable called last turret direction. So let's go to here. Let's call it turret. And that will be vector three forward. Well, da, da, da. so we've got our change to that. It's not going to be our direction, it's going to be our turret direction. And then finally, like with our body rotation, we need to rotate the turret. So we're going to take the turret object in. Get its rotation around the y axis. And we're going to use the loop angle function because it's going to give us a nice smooth rotation around the turret. Once again, around its rotation around the y axis. Use the ATAN2 function. Around the turret last direction. Same again. Turret last direction for this time around the z axis. Delta times. We'll just use the same rotation speed. If you wanted to have these be able to work at different speeds, you could do that as well. And we now have it working. So now it works around. And I'm pressing WSD, it's not doing anything. Let's press the tilde. And we can actually have our independent turret. Now, you don't need to actually go and disable this because the mouse will override these inputs anyway, but you know, better coding practice would be to be, do something similar. If not mouse enabled, run that, it just stops all these lines of code running. And there we have it. A character that can move around, we've got a toggle, becomes independent twin stick shooter.